Well, Minnesota lawmakers are closer than they have ever been to passing tougher distracted driving laws. One in four crashes in Minnesota are caused by someone who is on their phone while driving. And more than 70 people are killed each year in those crashes. Today, in an emotional display of unity, victims' families stood together at the state capitol. They are rallying for a law that allows drivers to only use phones if they are hands-free devices. After four years, the bill is closer than ever to passing. And as Susan Elizabeth Littlefield shows us, to hundreds of families, this bill is deeply personal. This is a photo op they never wanted to pose for. This is a club you never want to be a part of. Together, they rally for tougher laws. A lot of people say to me it must be healing to do these things um, uh, about, about distracted driving. It's not about that. Anybody who's had a kid know you'll do just about anything for your kid. And that's what it is for me. And I feel like if I wasn't doing this, I wouldn't be supporting my son. Their son, Phil, a college runner out for a jog, was killed by someone on their phone. It's the first thing I think of when I wake up in the morning and the last thing I think of when I go to bed at night. You know, it's always there. And every time our family is together, it's incomplete. A sentiment Megan's family understands well. A driving safety instructor, he lost his daughter, an unborn grandchild, to a crime he'd spent years trying to prevent. We need laws just like drunk driving. You know, where you go to jail, where you get a thousand dollar fine with court costs and, and fees, that starts to change behaviors. In Minnesota, when someone gets their first DWI, it's a one thousand dollar fine and or ninety days in jail. When someone is texting on their phone while driving, it's a fifty dollar plus court fee fine. We need to step it up. Representative Mark Ugel is sponsoring a hands free driving bill that would give officers much more power to pull over anyone who appears to be playing on their phone. It's time. Other states are doing this. We have to get caught up with, with the times and technology. And so they stand together because of who they are apart from. We're here today to honor Philip Lavelle. I'm here for my sister Megan and her unborn baby. I'm here because of my sister Rhea Patel. I'm here because of my grandpa Joe Tikalski. We are here to make a difference because of our son Robert Brow. The hands free bill now has to go to another House committee. The hope is that soon it could be on the House floor for a vote. And it does have some serious bipartisan support. At the state capitol, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. The penalty for texting and driving in Wisconsin is even less than Minnesota. A first offense is a fine ranging from $20 to $25.